In this video, we're going to focus on the rotation options in the Chart.js plugin for data labels. And with the rotation option, basically what you can do is you can rotate the data labels here. And is this really necessary? Well, not always, but sometimes you might. And basically for the radial, you don't have to worry about it because the settings is set in such a way that it will work automatically and will will have the right angle. However, sometimes you might do this. So let's start and explore here. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go to the options here. Then we search for rotation. And the rotation options, it shows you the rotation command. It's a number command and it starts with zero. Basically, it uses here basically the degree. How many degrees in angle do you want to adjust this? If you click on this, you can see here, uh, this is the one in the degrees angle or the rotation angle. So let's do this. So the only thing that we know is rotation angle is we work with 360 degrees in total. So zero and 360 degrees is identical. So we can say here rotation, uh, rotation, and we want to, for example, have a 90 degree angle. You can put a 90, we save this, refresh, and you can see now we start to adjust. Uh, and then once we do here 180, it starts to adjust, it will go upside down, basically it flips it. And then, once we do that again, we do here 200 and, uh, what is that, 180, 240 if I'm not mistaken. Save that, refresh, oh, no, not that, it's, it's 360, so somewhere in there, but that's all right. However, as we rotate here, 90, 90, 90, and then probably the three times nine is 270, that's the one. All right, so that's the one. So in every angle you can go, and of course you can control this more than anything. But however, if you have a pie chart or donut chart, it will not matter much. So let's go that we can try that by adding, instead of a bar chart, we're going to just get a quick pie chart. Let's see here, general, we have the, oh, the chart type, sorry, that's the one we need. We go here and we can look for donut and pie chart. Do we have a sample here? We have the config here, setup. I'm going to adjust this quickly by just getting just the basics. So there we are. And then what we're going to do in here is we're going to remove these data sets here. And then we're going to work from here on. All right. So in here, I'm going to put in this. These are the labels. And here's the data sets. So that's more than enough. Basically, we can remove this here and remove these. And once we save this, let's see if it already works. Oh, uh, this needs to be a donut. Oh, no. Donut chart. There we are. So right now, we have one. Of course, the design is not that appropriate because I just copy it quickly. But let's remove the rotation. And you can see the angle will work accordingly as well. As you can see here, it will match it. You can adjust the angle. However, this makes it quite readable for your user, which is makes of which makes the most sense. However, you can see here, this is the way to do it. But let me undo this. We're going back here to the bar chart because that's the most common one. And that will be our sample. However, this is basically how you can do it and how you can play around with it. And you can do it with any kind of rotation here. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.